hi guys welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make your 360 flare 720 flare 1080 flare and 1440 flare with very easy steps so the first one i'm going to start with is the 360 flare so 360 flare is basically just a full circle a full circle makes 360 degrees and this circle has two halves which make half circle 180 and 180 when they are split in the middle it makes 180 and 180 but this tutorial we're focusing on the 360 flare so to make the 360 flare the first thing we have to do is find the radius so in order to find the radius we're going to use the formula which is r is equal to waist circumference because this is going to be this flare is going to be seated on our waist so waist circumference divided by 6.28 note that this is a standard measurement so the waist circumference i'm using is 30 inches that is my waist circumference so i'll put my 30 inches divided by 6.28 so 6.28 divide 30 divided by 6.28 sorry is 4.7 inches so this is the radius that we are going to work with in order to make our 360 flare so this is the 4.8 radius that i'm going to use don't forget this figure 4.7 radius so now i'm going to use my separate paper where i'm going to demonstrate how to make the flare so imagine this is your fabric this is pattern drafting i'll fold it once in the middle and fold it again second like that so if you are working with your fabric directly just do the same steps on your fabric but for this tutorial i'm just using my paper so remember we found our radius which was 4.7 i'm going to put my radius right on this corner here the 4.7 inches so I'll use my measuring tape to plot the 4.7 inches right and connect as shown. Then I'll determine how long I want my flare to be. So for this tutorial, I just want it to be 6 inches long. You can go up to 8 inches long. It's up to you. So this is 6 inches for the flare length. Then I'm going to connect the points. And next I'm going to cut out from the radius. And full length of the flare. So now let me just open it up this is the 360 full circle flare as you can see this is how you easily make your 360 full circle flare it's round like that so i'll just cut open this part here this is where you can put your zippers if if it's needed in the pattern so next we're going to move to the 720 degrees flare so for the 720 degree flare basically what this means is that two 360s are joined together and form 720 when you add 360 plus 360 you form 720 that is where the 720 comes from so what we're going to do is we're going to make two flares and come up with 720 so to make these two flares we're going to use the radius divide which is found by waist circumference divided by 6.28 but in this case we won't use the full waist circumference we'll use half of the waist circumference remember i said my waist circumference is 30 inches but since we have two circles two 360s we'll divide 30 by 2 
So each circle is going to have a waist circumference of 15 inches and the other one is going to have a waist circumference of 15 inches. I hope that's clear guys. So the new radius for circle 1 will be waist circumference of 15 inches and not 30 divided by 6.28. So this is circle 1. Then circle 2 will also have a radius of which is equal to 15 waist circumference divided by 6.28. So circle 1 and circle 2 will be joined together to form 720. Very easy guys. So if you love this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. So 15 divided by 6.28 is going to give us 2.3 for circle 1 and the same answer will be for circle 2, 2.3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pattern paper for demonstrations and form two circles, circle one and circle two, that are going to be joined together to form 720 degrees. <coughs> so let me just get my paper. So this is my, these are my pattern papers I'll be using, pattern one and pattern two. I'll fold in the middle once and twice. Then I'm going to put my radius. Remember I found the radius for circle 1 and circle 2 which was 2.3 inches. I'll mark it right there. So this is the radius. And determine the full length we are working with 6 inches as the full length. So I'm going to connect. And cut out. So this is circle one. Now let's trace circle one onto another paper that we folded and make our circle two. So this is circle two. I'll just trace it onto my other paper. That's circle two. So next, we have one 360 and another 360s joined together. We're going to form 720. So let me just cut here on one side and on the other side, then join them together. So this is how you join them, right? This is just pattern paper drafting. So if you are sewing on the fabric, you join them like that, connect them together and sew on the sewing machine. <coughs> like that. And form one big circle, which is 720. So when you join the, remember we used 15 half waist circumference half plus half will make our full waist circumference and it's going to sit right on the waist circumference so that is how you easily make the 720 by joining two three sixties that used half waist circumference each and come up with one full circle which is 720 the next we're going to make the 1080 degree flare 
to a 1080 degree flare is only just three three circles that are joined together so there's one 360 plus another 360 and we form 1080 when you add these up they give 1080 <coughs> so what we do for the waist circumference we're going to divide our waist circumference by 3 remember my waist circumference is 30 so 30 divided by 3 will have 10 so each circle circle 1, 2 and 3 will have a waist circumference of 10 so I'll find my radius for circle 1 which will be 10 divided by 6 6.28 6 is a standard to give me 1.5 then I will get circle 2 and circle 3 then I'm going to make my circles my three circles so I have circle 1 circle 2 and circle 3 that I'm going to join together to form my 1080 Flare. please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you love more sewing videos so these are the three circles that I made and I'm going to join them together we join them together to form the 1080 so just cut and join all the three together remember each of them used 10 with circumference then the final one is the 10 1440 flare so 1440 flare is just four 360s added together two three and four one two three plus another one 360 added together so to do to find the radius you divide your waist circumference divide by four so in my case my waist circumference is 30 inches so 30 divided by 4 is going to be 7.5 inches that is the radius the waist circumference 7.5 inches and 7.5 inches will be divided by 6.28 the radius we're going to work with is 1.19 so this 1.19 will help me to make four different circles that I'm going to join together to form one 1440 so remember you have to divide your waist circumference by 4 for the 1440 So I'm going to get the circles and join them together 